welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Charisma to all my new K-Squad members. Welcome to the family. Let's jump right to this review. Okay, dogs, y'all know what time it is. We're talking about some new outro releases. And since we have a lot to talk about, let's just go ahead and jump right into so, it. First up from the Color Bomb series is Alicia. The length is 22, style wavy, lace type, uh, lace type is lace front. Color strong, French lilac, ice blonde, and rosy blonde. I'm definitely feeling the French lilac color. I usually shy away from color bombs because the texture is sometimes wonky, but I'm still feeling that French lilac and ice blonde color. I think it's really pretty. I also love the waves on her. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of Alicia and are you gonna be picking her up soon? Okay guys, so next up we have Miss Alora. This is gonna be from the Lace Front series. This is already out on wig websites. Length on her is 12 inches long. Texture is yakky. This is gonna be a 13 by four lace frontal. The color shown is DR4 California Blonde, DRFF Golden Ginger, and DRFF Orange Flame. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably won't be reviewing this one. I don't like the curls on this one. They just seem like they fall a little limp and then so um, yakky texture, so it might be a little stiff for me. But either way, I still think that the color is gorgeous. That color, that color, ugh. California Blonde is so pretty. So I want you guys to let me know what you're thinking of Allura. Um, I think she'll be a cute little throw on and go, but do I think this should have been a perfect hairline? No, probably not. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking of Allura, and if you're gonna be picking her up soon. So next up, you guys, from the Everywhere series, we have the Every 30. This one's pretty. I do like the color on her, chocolate caramel and dear FF2 slash Ruby Rose, 18 inches in length. Style is going to be wavy. Once again, it kind of reminds me of the Laura that we just talked about, but I still think she's very gorgeous. Once again, going to be a throw on and go style with the every 30s, and you guys know these are always up in the air. Um, they, you know, it's just kind of like a hit or a miss. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking. This is not out on wig websites right now, but we definitely are going to keep our eyes out for her. And I do love that DRFF2 Ruby Rose color. It's absolutely gorgeous for the winter. Also from the Everywhere Collection dolls, we have the Every 31. Now the color shown here is going to be also DRFF2 slash Ruby Rose and DRFF2 slash Hazelnut Auburn. Style is uh, curly, the length is 24 inches. And once again, I think it's pretty, but I definitely won't be reviewing this because like I said, that you know, it's just a hit or a miss. Although I love the curly texture, it does look like it's gonna be a bit thin, so I'm not for sure. And like units like this, we want the density to be a little bit thicker, especially with curlier units because we don't wanna end up filling tracks throughout the unit. So let me, guys, let me know if you guys um, like this one and if you guys are going to be purchasing her. Not out yet, but we're gonna keep our eyes out for her. So next up guys from the Perfect Hairline series, we have Miss Aria. I love that name, it's so pretty. This is gonna be a 13 by six lace frontal, 22 inches in length. Color shown is gonna be DRMC2 slash Ginger Toffee, DRMC4 slash S'mores Dip, and MC Dip Cherry. Love these new colors, absolutely gorgeous. The Ginger Toffee is very gorgeous. How pretty is that? I do love the style on um, Aria, absolutely gorgeous. It's not even that long, 22 inches. Looks like it's gonna be a good density on her. Love units where there's just a bountiful, like bountiful thing of curls popping off. Uh, could be shorter layers in the front there, so I'm not for sure if we're gonna be reviewing her, but we're definitely gonna keep our eyes out for Aria either way. But the color schemes are definitely calling my name. Like this is really pretty, you guys. Let me know below what you're thinking. So next up guys from the wig pop series, we have Lena. I hope I'm saying that right. 18 inches in length, yikey texture, style wavy, color shown, copper blonde, and UC Auburn blonde. Blonde, very pretty, but uh, I don't know. The Whip Pop series, once again, really hit or miss. The hairlines are really wonky on these units, but they are really great for throwing and goes. You know, something you could just wear, wear for errands or just for a night out right quick and throw her right back in the, uh, the wig bag there. I think that the colors shown that you see, um, the UC Auburn Blonde and the Copper Blonde are absolutely gorgeous. Not feeling the style too much on this. It falls a little limp and flat for me. But either way, I still think it's really pretty. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking of Lana. Although I think I could wrap this with like a little cute little hat. I don't know, girl. Okay, guys, so next up from the Melted Hairline series, we have Miss Leah. This is right up my alley. You guys, 28 inches in length, yakky texture, curly style. DRFF2 slash vanilla mochaccino is the color shown. And I believe the other color shown, I'm gonna say DRST hazelnut mocha. I'm not for sure. But either way, gorgeous. 
gorgeous 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 definitely will be reviewing this i love these that look like this flat to the scalp and long and curly love 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 the only fallback once again would be the density but we don't know about that until we actually purchase the unit so yeah leah is definitely going to be a winner in my book let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking of leah as well and also from the melted Caroline series we have rosalia that's a really pretty name you guys this is out right now on wig website 16 inches in length texture yaki style wavy dr4 california blonde is the color shown and I believe DRST at DRST2 slash chocolate caramel. Once again, this is out right now. I'm on the fence about Rosalia, not for sure, but I'm kind of edging towards buying this just because the back of it is so gorgeous. And I don't know, I really kind of wish that this was a frontal because like I could do more things with it. But I don't know, let me know if you guys already purchased Rosalia and what you're thinking. I'm gonna have to watch a couple of reviews on this. But once again, I love that California blonde color girl. Maybe it's cause I'm from LA. <laughs> And once again, from the Everywhere series, we have Every 29. Now, this one I would definitely get and just wear with a headband. Not even just a headband, like an Aaron wig. This is cute. 12 inches in length. Style is going to be um, curly on the Every 29. Color shown DR Ginger Toffee and DR2 Vanilla Cocoa. I love this. Really simplistic, cute little 12-inch curly wig. Throw on and go. Love it. So when this comes out, I'm definitely going to be reviewing it, especially in that DR Ginger Toffee color because it looks extremely natural. And I don't know, the density might pop on this just because it's short. So we're definitely going to keep our eyes on it every 29. This is absolutely gorgeous. Let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking. Okay, guys, and lastly, from the Lace Front series, we have Joss. Um, excuse me, no, the Lace, the Lace Front Melted Hairline series, we have Joss. 28 inches in length, yakky texture, wavy style, color shown red velvet. So Joss, I'm not for sure on this one. I did not like that hairline on Joss, and I do not like those waves and the blunt cut. You guys already know how I feel about that. Either way, I still think that the color red velvet is absolutely beautiful on her. But I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look at a couple of reviews before I dive in. But this is not on wig websites right now. But let me know what you're thinking of Joss. Because like I said, it could just be the color there that's kind of throwing me off. But I don't know. Too much of the forehead is exposed, girl. I don't know. Maybe it's those dang baby hairs. I don't know. Something is telling me no. Okay, guys. That's pretty much it for this review. I'm excited about the new Outre drops. They really have been bringing the heat for the last, I would say, three months. Especially with different styles and colors. So I'm definitely here for that. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking and what you're going to be picking up. And don't forget to follow me at LaticiaCharisma76 on TikTok and Instagram for more hair and beauty reviews. See you on the next video. Stay beautiful and blessed. Bye.